Today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. Hello, 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 bienvenidos. I'm Neva. <laughs> this is my husband, Cole. Hey, I can and... say my name. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done having our second baby six weeks ago, so we haven't been, we haven't made any videos since then. Yeah. We've been trying to figure out how to have life with two under two. Well, technically two under one. Yes. For like a whole month, <laughs> it was two under one. So that's what we've been doing for the last little while and we are getting ready to start an absolutely new chapter of our lives. Not only do we have two children, we have no, just kidding. We're, 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 we're not. I was like, what yet. are you trying to say? Do you know something I don't know? Need to tell me something? We've been renovating our house or trying to renovate our house, which has more or less been we demoed five rooms in the house and it has been sitting like that for the last two years. So we've been literally living in a construction zone separating living area from construction zones with tape and trying to seal gaps and keep dust out and you have to walk through construction zone to get to the freezer it it's been rough it, it, yes it's been rough. our house was built in 1917 and we have almost no electricity in any of the rooms there's literally like one super sketchy outlet that you're kind of afraid to even plug a phone charger into so we have decided now that we have the two children running around Third one on the way at some point, <laughs> at some point. down the road. <laughs> We're not pregnant. Way down the road. <laughs> it is time for us to get on with our house renovation. We're gonna get our house done. Everything it's behind us is what we had in our house. We already got basically everything cleaned out. We got just a little bit left. So today to start things off, we're simply just gonna go walk around the house. We are gonna see what we are going to be working with from the bones of our house and then what we're planning to do and just all the other kind of interesting things along the way. So join us. Vamos. Oh my goodness. That's empty. Ella, what happened to your house? He's like, I don't have anything to tear into anymore. Do you think he recognizes it? He wants to go to all the stuff. He's, He's like, like, hold up. This stuff apart. You have all kinds of room to run. It is empty in here. It's so echoey. As of now, the vision we have for our home is to have some sort of an open layout. We want to tear down several of these walls so that we can open up our home. We're pretty excited about it because it'll be nice to be on one side of the house and be able to see the activity on the other end of the house. It's just one problem. I'm not, I'm not a contractor. Cole's not a contractor, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Hey, hey, hey. How you got the experience swinging hammers? <laughs> what, are your, what are your thoughts on this? Because this is the wall that scares me. I just don't understand how this is gonna work. There's a chimney behind this, actually. You can't see it unless you go around the back where we took the plaster off already, but there's, the whole chimney is like this wide. And I think we're gonna be ripping the chimney out, so really this is gonna be going bye-bye for this thing. Oh, nice. See, I was under the impression that this had to stick around, but I like that. Was I right on like the use for these rooms? Because it just blows my mind how many seating areas they needed back in the day. So what was the purpose of that? Back in the day, they had houses laid out a lot differently because back in the day, the driveway was not on that side of the house. That was actually the back side of the house. And this was the front side of the house. So this would have been the first room you would have walked into. There's an entryway on the other side of this big mirror. And so, Everyone would have came in with, through the driveway on their horse. They would have got off and came into here. So this would have been the meeting room, the greeting room. You sit and visit with people and talk. And then it moves on to the living room, which would have been over here. So this would have been just a little bit more cozy. Okay. And then you work your way into the dining room, into the kitchen at the back of the house. So this is called the great room then? I'm not sure how the terminology lays out. But yeah, I mean, it's got the fireplace in it. This would have been more of a homey style room. The house seems backwards now because some years ago when the farm started to grow we moved the driveway onto that side of the house because there was a lot more room to expand the buildings and actually get big equipment in uh -huh. over there. Where over here we had a grove of trees and a valley and a little creek and stuff running through it so we wouldn't have been doing any building on the farm over on this side. So we got moved over here that driveway got taken out and so now it, like the house is kind of backwards. And it's also interesting because the front of the house does not face the road. It's sideways to the road. It runs parallel to the road instead of perpendicular to it. With the renovations finally taking place, finances have become a topic of discussion. This is why I decided I wanted to bring my finances into focus so that I can get on top of my expenses. So I started Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The app tells you every subscription that you're paying for, and you'll be surprised how many you actually have and you probably forgot about. This actually happened to me recently. When I installed the app, I immediately realized that I was spending over $100 
worth of subscriptions that I didn't even know I had. Like I completely forgot about them. And I was kind of sad to see because all that money could have been in my pocket. But with just a few clicks, Rocket Money took care of canceling all those unwanted subscriptions for me, which meant that I didn't have to get online and figure out how to cancel certain subscriptions. And I didn't have to spend time on the phone trying to figure it out myself. The app can also help lower your bills by negotiating your bills for you from internet services to cable and phone bills. And it helps you set up budgets that automatically monitor your spending by category. Overall, I think it's such a good app. If you're interested, check out the link in my description or visit rocketmoney.com slash nave. You might as well try it out. You can try it out for free. Again, check it out in the link in my description. I find this to be super fascinating because this is supposed to be a load bearing wall too and it has pocket doors in it. So the door it goes all the way in here. So unless there's some beams here that go up and then run all the way across down to the other side of the door to transfer the weight down onto the foundation of the house below, it doesn't make sense how this would be a load bearing wall. Yeah. And what I've seen upstairs demoing it, I have not found any type of support beam that would indicate that some sort of arch was supposed to be there. But there has got to be one because this wall has pocket doors. That wall has pocket doors. That wall is a hutch. So that, that's just a, a hollow hutch. It's just a cabinet sitting inside of there. Then we have a door. So, I mean, how much load can we actually have on those? And then we also have this big arch right here. And unless there's some sort of beam up above there, which is possible, we'll find out. This is a chimney. Nothing is supported off the chimney whatsoever. Then we have another doorway right into a pocket door corner. <laughs> so it's weird. We're just gonna let Nava figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna be working on that quite some time if I'm supposed to be the one to figure it out. I'm, I'm just really excited about opening things up because it's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna be one giant room. I mean, don't you just love the idea of like, I'm gonna be in the kitchen cooking and then you're gonna be over in the other room playing with your kids, but you're still gonna be able to see your wife cooking and I'm still gonna be able to see my husband playing with the babies. I love it. Don't you love it? Yes. It's a good idea. And I think each floor of our house is like 15 or 1600 square feet. So it's basically gonna kind of be one ginormous room. So our house is like 3,300 square feet or 3,500 square feet, something like that. Is that her son? <laughs> I'm, I'm letting him to see how he can figure it out. How does that work, Ricardo? When the square foot of the house, does that include the basement and the attic? No. Or is, it's just main floor just and upstairs. Main floor upstairs. So we're gonna have a big house. What do you think of that, Edward? What do you think? That is just this area of the house. We also have the office area and the kitchen area, and we have all of upstairs in the atom. So we got a lot of work to do. So I've been kind of working on and off in the house for like the last five years. The first year was just cleaning everything out because it was little goat trails through the in entire house. Everything was full. Like this? But, well, worse than that. <laughs> Like, what about this? Take that, but shoulder high. Yeah, it, it was full. This house just, was full. Just think of your junk drawer in your house. Every single item that could hold anything, it was a junk drawer on its own. I only saw the basement. I've only was witness to the basement. I have no idea what the upstairs looked like um, before Cole started touching it. I do know what it looked like, you know, after he started working on it. But before, I can only imagine. Because when I walked into this house the very first time, it was very full. And Cole says that was not even compared to what it looked like when he first started working on the house. So that's, it's mind blowing, it's mind blowing. But the basement, I did see that and that was difficult, that was rough. So for this room in here, the vision that we had is we wanna open it up to where it is part of the kitchen as the pantry. So basically this room is gonna be kind of split into thirds. So two thirds of it is going to be pantry. And we're actually gonna have a little closet through this door for downstairs stuff and kind of like a, a utility closet center yeah. where we'd have our Wi-Fi router and like all the communication stuff kind of come into one Yeah, to keep area. that in one spot, yeah. To keep it nice and clean and then cleaning supplies and that kind of thing. And then we're gonna clip the corner off this room so then the door will face straight into the kitchen and then this will be the pantry and we'll have our deep freezes and stuff in here and then it'll be just nice, easy to get to. We, we don't have a pantry right now. No. Everything we have is stored inside of the cabinets. Really, this is all we kind of have for pantry area outside of the freezers and the fridge. And I know it may look like there is a lot of storage in this kitchen, but there is not enough. This, is, this cabinet has cups and plates in it and then we have pans down there, silverware and utensils Rags. there. But that's pantry, that's pantry, no, that holds cups. This is like half pantry, because there's like more like 
pans and stuff in there. And then your pans. I can't believe how much pans. Yeah, there's a lot of pans. All The pans awesome. are all on the bottom. And then that's kind of all pantry up there. This is it. This is our pantry. And it's like not easy to organize things in here. No, cause... everything gets buried. Yeah. Then this is our spice cabinet. This is, you want to see all our spices? I find myself in this. Look at all that. Look at all those spices. <laughs> so it's going to be really nice to have an actual area that is literally for pantry stuff. And then everything will have its place. There's not, you're not going to be digging through all the stuff that you have. You're not going to be questioning where, which, which drawer or which cabinet you were able to stick it into to get it to fit. It's just going to all have its place. Another one of the challenges of the kitchen is our outlet situation in here. These outlets are live. We have a set over here that are also live. Those ones are live but we have our security system plugged into one and our refrigerator plugged into the other. Those ones don't work. We have another set over here that don't work. No. So we're extremely limited on what we can do from a plug-in perspective. They get to unplug exactly. the microwave all the time in order to actually, if you want to use a blender or something like that. Yeah. So either that or you're unplugging the Wi-Fi, which- We don't do. Yeah, and, we don't un and we don't unplug our Simply Safe. Now it's gonna be really nice just to have outlets in here that you don't have to unplug things. You can, you have the room and stuff. So the kitchen, it's going to be a whole other world. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's going to make, you know, cooking so much easier. And when cooking is easier, you do it more and your husband's happier. Exactly. Another thing that's going to be really nice is right now we currently have our bathroom directly out the kitchen. Like, yes. <laughs> Who was in there the last? <laughs> Just thinking to say. Oh we won't say names. We won't say names. But, but that is not. Because do you know what it feels like to like you when have the, when the family's eating dinner. Exactly. Right here. One, who wants to go to the bathroom when you then, know that everyone's out here eating? That's that, embarrassing. That nuclear bomb goes off. Holy cow! I really like to host and I like to have people over. But like, how do you have people over when there's not much seating area? We have like three chairs in this kitchen. And then not only that, but our bathroom literally is right off the kitchen. That's embarrassing. When you have new friends over and then you accidentally had some Mexican food that may be <laughs> disturbing your stomach a little uh -uh. bit. Then you're like, hey, sorry, we only have one bathroom in the house. I take that back. We do have one in the basement, but that one's scary. <laughs> the one's scary. Going back in the basement. <laughs> no, the toilet down there is nicer than the one we have up here but it is scarier. We're also limited on how much table space we can have in here because of kind of how the kitchen's laid out. If you want to be able to, like, we can move the table to the middle of the room. No. Yes. But then if you do that, then you're basically bumping into everybody sitting in the chairs to get to the stove or get into the fridge. Walking around. Or get to the sink or the microwave if you need to get some utensils or something. The layout's just awkward. There's door there, door there, door there, door there. Yeah, so like, four, it's just- We have four doors in our kitchen and like, I'm 5'10 on a good day, and I got like two feet past my fingers, so I mean, it's like nine feet wide in here. Now, I know there's kitchens that are a lot smaller than that, but usually they're longer, and then the, the seating area is like at the end of it where you start. Where right. This is, like if that door was open, like this room is not designed to have no. a table. Yeah. No, it's not supposed to. Because back in the day, they had a dining room, which was over there, and that's where the table was. <laughs> so, so you ate in the dining room, you cooked in the table. With our bathroom, we do not have any outlets in here whatsoever. This actually used to be the old pantry back in the day, or actually when my dad was a little boy and lived here, he said this was their playroom. That's but right. it was supposed to be the pantry. And so, I mean, they had no use to have electricity in here. Then it got retrofitted to have a light in here, and then put a shower in when my grandpa got sick in the toilet. So that's why those things are in here. But otherwise, we did not have really any electricity in here whatsoever. The kitchen kind of became the auxiliary of the bathroom. If, like, you know, a neighbor wanted to do her hair or something, or she did it like on the bed, which not ideal. It's the same thing with these back rooms, going back here really quick. This room did not have electricity, does not have electricity. Yeah, so th see the lights we have up here right now? These are just a string light that we hung up. But like when we hit this light, like this does absolutely it do nothing. Anything. Yeah, it was really dark. We started off in here with a lamp and it was depressing. Like at nighttime, we just had one lamp lighting this whole room. It was dark. The outlets in the kitchen were installed in the 1980s when my grandpa remodeled the kitchen. And then he also did a couple in this room. So we have the one down here and then we just have an extension cord ran over to a power bank and then that ended up running everything we needed in here. Then standing along this wall, these windows, 
have window weights inside of them. So that way they could keep the window held open back in the day because those windows are so heavy. These are also a single pane window where most windows now are a double pane. So when you touch the glass, they're not cold. These ones are freezing. And you can feel a lot of cold air just pouring in here right now. I like how big the windows are though. It, I think they're cool. And what I like what the... would you think about putting in a big door right here? I, I am so for that, 100%. And then there'd be super easy access to the porch. Well that, and then when we're moving in furniture, we'd have a big door. So you're saying like a sliding door? Uh, maybe. I like that. But we have window weights inside of these windows here. So there's an area like this big all the way around all these windows. Well, every single window in the house really has no insulation. Our furnace runs and 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 runs to the tune of like, usually like 400 bucks a month during the winter time is what we have for heating bill. And that's on LP. It's gonna be nice getting that stuff Insulated properly, built properly, new windows. Should cut our energy needs down by a lot. I will say though, I'm gonna miss all of this. There's like five years worth of memories in these rooms for us. Well, the rooms will still be here. They'll oh. just look a little different. <laughs> look a lot of different. Well, I do want to keep all the wood up above. I like that look. Yeah, if we stain it a little darker though. Well, yeah, we can restain the colors. Yeah, we should restain it because I think- And then the mirrors, I like the mirrors. And then we have the grand staircase right here. Yeah, on the other side of these pocket doors. Yes, we have three sets of pocket doors in the house. And that's gonna look so beautiful, you know, with all these rooms opened up. When this is all open, we're gonna be able to see through like all the windows. And some of these windows haven't been cleaned for a long, long time. <laughs> look how dirty those things are. I know, are. so you need to get out there and clean them. This is where Nava and I have been sleeping for the past couple of years. We don't have a light switch in this room to turn the top light on you actually have to go into the construction part around the corner yep. to turn the lights on in here so that was a little annoying we did have these lights here those ones were a lifesaver <laughs> that we used yeah we have one outlet oh we back. have this one too we yeah. have one down here that my grandpa added in this is not a room but this has been our room for the past several years i'm looking forward to having an actual bedroom with a closet with the door with privacy I'm looking forward to that not long ago in the kitchen we replaced the flooring in here so that edward could play safely and if it looks this nice, you know, kind of just being a temporary floor on top of the floor that's not really nice. I can't imagine what this whole downstairs is going to end up looking like once oh. it's completely finished. It, it's it's going to look beautiful. We are so pumped and excited that we're finally starting this project, that things are starting to be worked on. The guys are upstairs, you know, tearing away at the upstairs, the attic. They're getting things built, put up. They're working hard. They're working hard. And I'm excited for my little baby to have his own room, to have his own room that he can get into and we're not stopping him from grabbing the checkbooks. Because for the past year now, this has been Edward's place. Room. He had all his toys, all his books, you know, all the fun stuff in this room. And he slept in this room with us. We're going to be making some bedrooms here for, for all our children. And they're going to be some pretty nice bedrooms. They're going to have, you know, nice big closets, a bathroom. There's going to be something pretty cool and exciting about each and every one of the rooms. I'm looking at this right now because I have not seen this. The attic part, we're really hoping to make this into a really cool family room, an area for the kids to just run around and play. Again, we're going to have that open concept. I think it's going to be carpeted. It, we're going to have, you know, a nice sectional up here with the big TV, you know, an area for the kids to play, an area for them to just, you know, explore and just just, just hang out. It's gonna be a big open hangout area for, for all of us, really. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this room turns out. We're not really ex completely sure of how it's gonna be laid out, but I think Cole has an idea. All I know is that this room is gonna be a really cool area for the kids to play. It's gonna be pretty cool. Well, that's pretty much it. We are really looking forward to these plans that we have for our family, for our home. It's gonna be a while before we get to actually be here and and live, in, live here again, but for the meantime, we are looking forward to it, and I just can't wait to see how this place turns out. It's gonna be pretty cool.